Carlos Quentin of the San Diego Padres picks up an eight-game suspension for his role in the bench-clearing brawl with Zach Greinke of the Dodgers. But is this suspension really fair to the Dodgers? So the fallout of the Padres-Dodgers brawl continues to be a big story around Major League Baseball. Now, it's been announced that Carlos Quentin of the Padres, who charged the mound, charging Zach Greinke after being hit by a pitch in a 3-2 game, a one-run game late, Quentin charged the mound, and he broke Greinke's collarbone in the process, and Greinke's probably going to be out now till early or mid-June in a best-case scenario. Meanwhile, Quentin picks up an eight-game suspension for the Padres, and the Dodgers seem to be outraged, and I happen to agree with them. Now look, Quentin has said in the media, in the fallout after the incident, that he has some history with Greinke, that Greinke's hit him before, and that he felt he was justified going out there because he said Greinke also said something to him after hitting him with a pitch. But I got a big problem with Quentin's actions for one reason and one reason only. It was a one-run game, and if you think Greinke is going to hit Quentin in a 3-2 count in that kind of game on purpose, you don't know baseball. And if you're Carlos Quentin and you're playing the San Diego Padres, you need to have some awareness of what baseball's all about. Now, baseball's tried to step in and do the right thing, as they usually try to do, and give the guy an eight-game suspension. To me, what Quentin did was bogus, and I don't care if there's history or not. You cannot just charge a mound in a game and, and break a guy's shoulder and collarbone because you think you have a history with the guy. If I was baseball, I would have suspended Quentin for as long as Granke is out of action for the Dodgers. To me, that's the one fair and equitable way to make sure that the Padres and Quentin are punished just as much as the Dodgers are punished by not having the services of Granke, one of the top pitchers in baseball. And I think if you did something like that, that would be a landmark decision that would cut down on guys charging the mound after being hit by pitches. Because once you do that, you open up a can of worms that can't be closed. And I think if guys were penalized in that severe manner, if Quentin had to stay out for as long as Granke's been out, I don't think you'd ever see another guy charge the mound again because there would be directives from Major League front offices and dugouts everywhere saying you don't charge a mound in any situation if it's going to cost you suspension equal to the time a pitcher misses to injury. So if I'm Major League Baseball, that's what I would have done with Carlos Quentin in this situation. But for you guys out there, if you were the Major League office, what would you have done in this situation in the Dodgers-Padres brawl? Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and tell all your friends about This Week in Red. And don't forget to check out my blog at BosoxInjection.com.